one more question that can come in auto transformer is like you know they can ask you like you know how much percentage of volume of copper is going to be saved okay basically if you think of volume of copper what is volume of copper equal to length of copper multiplied by area of cross section of copper okay now if you think of area of cross section of core okay for example if this is the area of cross section of the core okay if this is the area of cross section of the core in the sense for example if i am the limb means area of cross section of core is this okay so what is the length of copper pattern length of copper pattern is nothing but perimeter of the area of cross section of the core so what is length of copper required here length of copper has to be wound like this okay so this is going to be length of copper pattern okay so if length of copper pattern is uh, what is the circumference of the area of cross section of the core how much will be the total length of the copper length of copper pattern multiplied by number of turns now between primary and secondary or between in auto transformer either in the combined winding or separate winding area of cross section of the core will be same so area of cross section of the core is same in the sense length of copper pattern is going to be same so directly proposed to number of turns multiplied by what is area of cross section of copper area of cross section of the copper for example this is the area of cross section of the copper area of cross section of the copper will be decided by magnitude of current what is this it is nothing but mmf okay so volume of copper required directly proportional to mmf we can say actually in a gate or es only this question only can come remaining things like you know many comparisons will be there between two winding transformer auto transformer and all those are all not at all required okay now mmf now let me calculate volume of copper as two winding transformer volume of copper as a two winding transformer directly proportional to primary mmf plus secondary mmf okay so primary mmf plus secondary mmf and already in two winding transformer we know that primary mmf equal to secondary mmf so 2 n1 i1 because they equal to n1 i1 primary mmf plus n2 i2 secondary mmf in two winding transformer now if you think of auto transformer as auto transformer is going to be how much directly proportional to see here what is this mmf plus what is this mmf total mmf now if you try to calculate for example from here to here i have n2 number of turns and from here to here i have n1 number of turns current flowing through this is i2 current flowing through this is i1 okay now i1 is flowing through in this direction only i1 in this area of the winding only and in this area of the winding i2 minus i1 is flowing okay so n2 into i2 minus i1 plus n1 minus n2 is going to be this section into i1 is going to be mmf so is directly proportional to i1 is flowing through n1 minus n2 okay plus through n2 how much current is flowing i2 minus i1 okay so mmf of separate winding mmf of separate winding plus mmf of combined winding is going to be total mmf okay so but already we know that mmf of separate equal to mmf of combined okay so this is nothing but directly proportional to i1 into n1 minus n2 okay now let us calculate what is the percentage saving in copper because see here volume of copper is two winding 2 n1 i1 volume of copper is auto 2 i1 into n1 minus n2 but here it is n1 here it is n1 minus n2 what does it mean volume of copper requirement as auto is reduced now percentage saving percentage saving equal to volume of copper as two winding minus volume of copper as auto with respect to percentage of volume of copper as two winding is going to be how much this is going to be 2 n1 i1 minus volume of copper as auto is going to be 2 i1 n1 minus 2 i1 n2 so minus of minus 2 i1 n1 minus of minus plus 2 i1 n2 divided by 2 n1 i1 
okay so 2n1 i1 2n1 i1 and after that 2 2 and after that i1 i1 so this is going to be n2 by n1 okay so percentage saving in copper is going to be n2 by i1 now actually we have to like you know interpret this all together in a different way for example if you think of n2 is the number of turns here okay n1 is the number of turns here okay so few people may think that few people may think that for example let me explain if it is 100 volts if it is 80 volts okay so 80 divided by 100 is going to be 80 percent of saving in copper okay for example this is 90 volts this is 100 volts n2 by n1 is going to be 90 divided by 100 is going to be 90 percent saving in copper for example if input is 100 volt and output is also 100 volt under that conditions n2 by n1 is going to be 1 or 100 percent 100 percent of saving of copper will be there okay because transformer need not be placed okay for example if n2 is 120 okay if n2 is 120 <coughs> n1 is 100 under that conditions we should not say n2 is 120 and n1 is 100 okay such that what is percentage saving in copper is going to be 120 percent so from here will we, are we going to get 20 percent extra volume of copper no no basically we have to interpret this equation okay in a different way that is n2 by n1 n2 by n1 means that means that n2 is going to be combined binding n1 is going to be total winding okay so then always like you know for example if it is 120 if it is 100 if it is 100 this is going to become combined winding this is going to become n2 and this is going to be total winding this is going to become n1 such that n2 by n1 should be always less than 1 okay let me repeat again this is going to be n2 by n1 is going to be percentage of combined winding out of total winding combined winding out of total okay so volume of copper requirement as an auto transformer will be reduced for a given capacities in the sense if two winding transformer is 10 kva and if auto transformer is also 10 kva okay under that condition volume of copper requirement as auto will be reduced and percentage of saving is nothing but percentage of combined winding out of total winding close